Welcome to Math Lessons with Mr. Polarski. I'm Mr. Polarski, and I'm going to be your host today for Permutations and Combinations. If you're one of my students, we'll be working out of six, seven, section 6-7 of our text today. A permutation is an arrangement of items in a particular order. When you choose all the items of a set, you can use the multiplication counting principle, also known as the fundamental counting principle. Suppose we want to know how many ways we could arrange four items. There are four ways to choose the first item, three ways to choose the second item, two ways to choose the third item, and only one way to choose the fourth item. By the fundamental counting principle, there would be four times three times two times one permutations. Using factorial notation, you can write four times three times two times one as four exclamation point, which is read four factorial. You can see the formal definition of n factorial. For any positive integer n, n factorial is equal to n times n minus one times three times two times one. Example one, in how many ways can six people line up from left to right to form a group? Since everybody is going to be in the picture, you will be using all the items from the original set. You can use the multipli multiplication counting principle or factorial notation, either way. It ends up being six factorial, which means six people can line up in 720 different ways. It must be noted that some permutations do not use all the items in the set, as the previous example. Here's the formal de definition of number of permutations. The number of permutation of n items of a set arranged r items at a time is npr, which is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial. r has to be between 0 and n. I'm going to take a minute to show you how to find the number of permutations of 10 things chosen 4 at a time or arranged 4 at a time by hand without a calculator. By definition, that would give us 10 factorial over the quantity 10 minus 4 factorial. When we simplify that, that will give us 10 factorial over 6 factorial. When we expand 10 factorial and 6 factorial out, by using the definition of factorial, that would give us 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, we would list out 6 factorial, which by definition would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, what we're going to see here is a whole lot of numbers getting crossed out. But what those numbers are doing are dividing each other out. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. We are reducing the fraction before we actually multiply. And you will notice that everything up through 6 factorial in both the numerator and the denominator divide each other out or cancel. Now what that's going to leave us with is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. A multiplication of four numbers. Now that's a very easy multiplication which you should probably be able to do in your head and if not in your head on a piece of paper. I personally do 10 times 9 to give me 90 and 8 times 7 to give me 56. Then I multiply 90 times 56, which gives us 5,040 different combinations. Now what I'm hiding here are the key numbers in calculating a permutation quickly. I highlight the 10 and the 4, and then I highlight the 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. In this case, we start with 10, and we multiply four consecutive integers. Now that's what I'm writing over there to the green, is what I have typed over here on the right of the screen. So in this case, we have 10 things, and we need to pick four of them, so we multiply 10 and then four integers, 10, 9, 8, and 7. Generally speaking, when calculating a permutation, you multiply consecutive decreasing integers, starting with n and stopping after multiplying r consecutive integers. In example two, we're asked to find how many four-letter codes can be made if no letter can be used twice. Since there are 26 letters in the English alphabet, that would be 26 choose or permutate four or 26 things taken four at a time, where the order is important. 
We could write that as 26 factorial over the quantity 26 minus 4 factorial. Simplified, that gives us 26 factorial over 22 factorial. And as we saw in the previous example, the 22 factorials are going to cancel out and leave us with 26 times 25 times 24 times 23. 26 things to choose from. We get to pick four of them. Starting with 26, we multiply four consecutive decreasing integers. When you reach for your calculator to do that math, you should get 358,800. Moving away from permutations, we're going to think about another situation. If we think about a boat race or any race, the order matters usually in the finish, first, second, or third. But in qualifying races, the order doesn't matter. The top two or three finishers move on to the next round regardless. And uh, this is a counting situation that calls for a per combination. The order doesn't matter. Everybody finishes equally, and we will see some examples of that next. Here's the definition for the number of combinations. The number of combinations of n items of a set of chosen r items at a time is ncr, n factorial divided by r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. First we're going to evaluate the number of combinations of 10 things taken four at a time by hand. We write that out as 10c4. Or that gives us by definition 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial times the quantity 10 factorial minus 4 factorial. When we simplify that, that gives us 10 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 factorial. You cannot multiply 4 factorial times 6 factorial to get 24 factorial. It just does not mathematically work. In the numerator, we write out 10 factorial by its definition using the fundamental counting principle. 10 times 9 times 8 all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. In the denominator, we expand 4 factorial and 6 factorial. You can see 4 factorial there, and here comes 6 factorial. The times 3 times 2 times 1. As we saw previously, a lot of common factors are going to divide out between the numerator and the denominator. The 4 and the 2 in the denominator will divide out the 8 in the numerator. The 3 and the 9 will create a 3 in the numerator, giving us 10 times 7 times 3. And that would give us a total of 210 ways or 210 different arrangements of four things when you get to choose 10. A disc jockey wants to select five songs from a new CD that contains 12 songs. How many song selections are possible? Well, that would be... 12 choose 5. To do 12 combo 5 on your calculator, you enter 12 if you're using a TI-30X, which I recommend. One key down to the right of the second key is the probability key. You press that. Three choices come up. The permutation function, and that is underlined. The combination function, and the factorial function. You do want to use the right arrow to highlight or underline the combination function. Then you will press the equal key or the enter key on your calculator. On the TI-30X, it's located in the bottom right hand corner. Once you do press enter, on the first line of your display you will have 12. You will see the combination function. And then you need to enter the second number, how many items you're going to choose. In this case, that would be 5. So we key in 5. To do the calculation you see me do by hand, all you have to do is press the enter key on your calculator and once you do that you'll find that there are 792 different song combinations for this DJ. Example 5, a pizza menu allows you to select four toppings at no extra charge from a list of nine possible toppings and how many ways can you select four or fewer toppings? The words four or fewer toppings implies we're going to have to find more than one combination. In fact we're going to have to find five combinations for four toppings 
for three toppings, how many ways we can have two toppings, how many ways we can order one topping, and how many ways we can order zero toppings. Each one of these is found with a combination. The first one would be nine choose four, then nine choose three, nine choose two, nine choose one, and finally for zero toppings, there's only one way to order that. Using your calculator, you'll find these combinations, 9 choose 4, 9 3, 9 choose 2, 9 choose 1. And the key piece of information here is that you need to know that you have to add these things up. And the sum of these things would be 256. So there are 256 ways to order a pizza with four or fewer toppings.